Halo Pak, maaf Kak Surut Jan Ato yung dito na lang pang inyong abang lingkod Si Mang Yan, ah gusto ko lang ko i-share sa inyo Ang aking experience Nang ako ay nagbakasyon sa Afrika, Afrikan Afrika, Ghana Pagpasyon ko doon guys, may napuntan ako Na isang historical place Na tinatawag nila the Elmina The castle The castle and the slave The slave trade ay sobrang napaka-interesting po ng kanyang kwento guys hindi ko masyag buong buong nakuhaan ng video pero may mga part po ako na ipinakita doon na uh, kung saan, kung paano at ano yung mga ginagamit noong unang panahon pa noong pinakaunang unang unang panahon pa ng mga kinukuha ng mga, yung mga black people kung paano sila uh, itinuring ng mga kastila ng mga ibang tagal lugar kung paano sila pinahirapan yung binibenta sila, yung sinasakay sa kung saan, tapos kung may kasalanan sila, ikinukulong sa isang lugar yung mga babae, naka-separate guys basta panoorin nyo guys, ha? samahin nyo ako napakaganda talaga ng story niya kaya gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo sobrang ganda po ng story ng the uh, Almina the, the slave Almina the castle and the slave trade sobrang ganda niya guys, kaya samahin nyo na ako guys tara na, punta na tayo sa Africa, Ghana What is this again? Huh? This is the female slave. Dungeon. Dungeon. So the female slave. Okay. So, okay. This, one. Yeah. this is the very old ghost. Cave ghost. Name Almina. What is it? I'm a guy. 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 I'm a I'll give you a brief history about the castle. This is Elmina Castle, or St. George's Castle. It was dedicated to the Empire St. Paul St. George in Portugal. It was built by the Portuguese in 1482. The Portuguese first arrived in Ghana, then the Gulf Coast in 1471 to trade and display Christianity. So therefore, they brought in some items like gum, gum powder, liquor, used cloth, milk, enamel wool, tobacco, ingestion of gold, ivory, spices. Their system of trading at that time was better than the ancient goods for goods. But they were mostly interested in the good. So the rate at which the locals were giving them the good, the goods in trade. So they named this town Jamina or Amina in Portuguese language, which means the man, which has been corrupted today to be Amina. Also, they gave another name to this town called Adia, which means the village, which has been also corrupted to be Edna. In the early 16th century, the actions shifted from commodity trading to human trading at the time they started slave trading. So in 1637, the Dutch attacked the Portuguese. They attacked them with the help of the Lucas. And the Lucas did so because they thought the Dutch would be best authority for them to stop the slavery. But when they came in, they continued. So in 1872, we got to know that they have possession in this castle. It's unprofitable. Because they continued to 1807 when the slave trade was abolished. So in 1872, you go to know that the acquisition of this castle is unprofitable. You show the castle to the British. And the British used this castle as their sub administrative center. That doesn't mean they didn't part in the slave trade, they were doing their own at Cape Coast Castle. So in 1948, the British converted this castle into police training school. They brought men from all West African English speaking countries, with the exception of only Liberia, to train them here, to fight for them during the Second World War in Burma and India. And their name was Royal West Africa Frontier Force. So the British were here to Ghana got an independence on 6th March 1957. Then Ghana took over. So as you see, the castle now is 537 years old. The Portuguese men 155, the Dutch 235. British 85 and Ghana 62. They the oldest and the largest castle in the world in connection with transatlantic slave trade. Slave trade. And UNESCO designated this castle as World Heritage in 1979. The castle accommodates about 1,000 captives at a time, 400 women and 600 men. And we are in the inner courtyard of the castle. 
all the rooms are then gone for with dungeons for the women. So we are in one of them, full day dungeons. And it accommodates 80 full day at a time. And this is the original floor that has been innovated. The cloth over here in 2015, people from all parts of the world just came to do some exhibition. And the theme of the exhibition was the return of the African slaves. They just came in just to have a feel of what they sleep passed through. They were well done it. And they decorate the they use. They spent 12 hours here, some stayed, but some couldn't. They decorate the and the chains they use. And this is the original world from blocking of this entrance. This is the original world. Because of the sea bridge that has been rusted, and you have a place to put wood. Because wood will stand the bridge of the sea. Any question after this one? Drink it, right? No, it's no more used. No, but before? Before, yeah. They, they drink it? They drink it. They drink it? Brought their child into this class to be schooled. Yes. They educate them here. Okay, and the women. And they all they... became slave masters. Okay. So they were because they were in an environment of slavery, so they became slave masters. Ah, okay. Which one? Yeah. Some died, some decided not to eat, wanted to die and to be exported. When they were having an instrument called spectrum orbits, they used the instrument to force their mouth open and feed them by force, and also count their teeth to determine their ages and their prices. Sometimes, make them go into the main courtyard to jump and see how strong they are. And he, after the final week of which come, you can't be exported. Put you in tree into the sea. Now we are used to the Amadis where they store their weapons, and your weapons are very priceless. So if they are sleeping, they feel through to this dungeon and worse in the problem here. And this place here was brought here by African Americans just to pay homage to their ancestors. Any question? Gunman. 
then they, and they also collaborate with the local chiefs, mm -hmm. the slaves. Mm -hmm. And also, the same use the sea. Some of the European like, made friends with some of the local people. So when they brought in alcohol, they give them alcohol to drink. See, and then they take them onto their boat and they start to stay sailing. So when they get the time you realize you see to be on the ocean only. When in 1441, when they discovered the new world, as in the Americas and the Caribbean, at that time there seemed nothing like machine to work on the Amatechi farm. So they needed the energetic people to work there. So they used some of the native Indians and other Europeans, but due to the harsh nature of the work, and then the influx of the Jews on the new land when they went there to work, they died out of that. So one man called Batolome Villascadas. Mooted an idea or suggested that they should use Africans as an alternative because South Sahara African countries are very energetic and used to every weather condition. So they decided to sell to Africa so that they can convince our local team to show their rivals and their the world and the active filming captive. It was their entrance or their passage to the room of no return. Room of no return, meaning at that point, when you get there, can never have a chance to get back to your country, to your dungeon, to the castle, or to Elmina anymore. It's your time to be exported. So the active female captain here was their entrance to the room of no return. And at that time, this annual road wasn't here. It was placed here recently to avoid us that maybe a visitor might enter and fall. And also now it has been used as a drainage system. So when it rains, the water flows through out of the castle. There was a staircase here at that time of which they descended to the room of no return. Okay. We are in the main courtyard of the castle. And with the exception of that two said the one with the cloth bone and the scar and the other one. And this church, all the rooms at the ground floor were dungeon for the men. They were dungeons. This Portuguese church. And to the first Catholic church was in Ghana. <laughs> the Portuguese are Catholic, the Dutch are Protestant. They are churches at the top there. When you get there, I'll show you. And then France, the room of no return. <laughs> this room there, the room over there at the back, was they are branding where they are branding this thing for the identification. Many of Touching the castle by due to the evolution of the earth, and you see there. So the dog, the big ship over, over there, when we get there, I'll show you. And then, a so black, written in the memory of one governor here at that time called Van Tet. The van is in the same way. It's a governor of West Indies Company in Zealand. Zealand, one of the provinces in Netherlands. Yes. <laughs> it was in Gold Coast, in Africa. It was the last director general over the north and south coast of Africa. Arrived here 16 January 1758 and died on 12th March the same year. He died at the age of 41 and died out of malaria. There was one resident pastor here called A. Andres from Vier wrote this tribute that Governor Tet got fear. It's honest and respectful. In the time of slavery, of which a governor is a supporter, and the pastor telling us we've got fear. See this scenario? 
you stay in your home. The European self, it was you to punish the European soldiers who went out without seeking permission. Also, who got drunk and misbehaved. They put them here for some hours and then they freed them in the form of punishment. And because it's for the European cut, how it's well ventilated. You just have a feel of it as to compare to the one we're going in right away. This is called condemn cell and it was used to punish the Africans who fought for the African. The freedom fighters, they put them there, no food, no water, to the other beds. They tell oh. the jar. And no one entered and go back alive. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. This is the big <laughs> I cannot come inside. See, be careful. Yes. Ayan na guys, hope na gusto nyo ang aking kwento. Ang aking uh, pag-tutur uh, sa Elmina, uh, Elmina Castle sa Ghana. Hope you like it guys. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and like, of course. See you for next video. Bye-bye!